All right, Shalom. Real Hebrew Israelites coming in week in, week out, prophesying the downfall of America and this society. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to my power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Kapodash, Yahweh, the truly powerful name, who the world ignorantly or willingly calls Yahweh, I mean, uh, uh, God or Jehovah. Yahweh Shah is the truly powerful name, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Bashim is in the name, who the Kapodash, Holy Spirit, living with the Spirit, holy. I want to give double honor to my elders and apostles, great millstone, and rule well and teach well, and be in good example to the brothers, and peace and blessed to the old elect, will I'm part of that number. Uh, I'm the brother Kudar from the GMS Brand Chicago. Come back another video. <clears throat> this video is going to be entitled uh, Death Before Dishonor. Alright, because hey, soon, like my last video, alright, I said, uh, we'll be public enemy number one. You know, we'll be uh, 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 public enemy number one soon. Alright, we'll be hated. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, the spirit got me to just entitled it. You know, you'll be hated. All right, but this lesson is like a, a, a backup to it. You know, death before dishonor, man. All right, because us being hated and us being persecuted for the Lord, ultimately, hey, hey they going to come after us, man. All right? Hey, they, they might use your children against you. They might use your family members against you. Or they might make you, uh, they might threaten or threaten your family or something if you don't take the chip, man. All right, look at the time of the Maccabees, man. <clears throat> Alright, but they took the death manfully, man. Alright, and we understand that hey, if we hey, if we ain't going to the end, we're gonna be receiving a crown of life, man. Okay? And let me start off with that. I didn't even have that planned off. Okay, and the reason why uh the list is so, uh, so short, okay, because I'm just, I'm focused mainly on second Maccabees six and the seventh chapter. You know, those are pretty uh long chapters. Revelation and ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now let's look at this word devil. Okay, because they think it's some red dude in a, with a pitchfork with a damn tail naked. It says Diablos. It says prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. Who is that talking about? Okay, it says uh, metaphor applied to a man. Okay, who by opposing the cause of the most high? And who opposes the who opposes the cause of the most high? He saw Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, maybe he said to act the part of the devil or to side with him, man. Alright. Alright. So yeah, this it's talking about a man. Okay. Uh Salagi. It says the devil shall cast some of into prison. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Now that ten days represents a complete a complete amount of days. You know, it, it could actually be ten days. It could be two days. It could be ten weeks. It could be two weeks. You know, however the Lord seems, uh, however the Lord deems fit for you. All right, but it don't matter how many days we get. We're going to have to endure all them days, man. All right? For what? I'm going to continue to read. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, man. That's the ultimate goal. That's the goal, man, to get a crown of life. All right, because it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing in this world that's worthy to be compared to the kingdom, man. That's worthy to be to be compared to the uh, the, the 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 glory we're about to get, man. All right, because they fucked the side, man. Let me get uh, second Ezra's eleven. It's a lot. It's oh, it's two. It's uh, 2nd Andrews 2 and 43. And in the midst of them, there was a young man high of stature, taller than the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. That's talking about Yahweh Shah. It was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered, He was crowned the elect. Okay, and we hope to be up there. And if we endure to the end, you know, hey, Lord willing, uh, we be the elect, man. He answered and sent it to me. These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then I said to the angel, What young person is this that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I, began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly. For the name of the Lord, man. Alright, that's our goal. Alright, we want to stand so stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. 
Hey, I, I always pray that, you know, the Lord give me that spirit to stand stiffly for me. All right? Because if you fall, if you fall out, especially at a time like this, man, you go back to the world, you you really an idiot, man. All right? <laughs> All right, hey, hey, Jacob's trouble is like a fucking, you know, a block away, man. All right, persecution is like a, a block away, man. All right? Right around the corner. Coming at your doorstep, man. All right, you got to, hey, prepare, man. You have to prepare. All right, we've been waiting on this. Are you ready? Just ask yourself, are you ready, man? And if you're not, hey, this day, ask the Lord to make you ready, man. All right, and the Lord going to put you through some shit, hey, just to prepare you, man. Prepare your mind, you know, your body, your spirit. I mean, you are your spirit, your body. All right. Uh, <clears throat> First Maccabees 9 and 10, then Judas said, The Most High forbid that I should do this thing and flee away from them. If our time become, let us die manfully for our, bro for our brethren, man. Okay, so we got to be able to die manfully for this thing, man. Okay, and don't stay in your honor like he's going to uh, say when I continue to read, man. Okay. Because uh, they was outnumbered, you know, and they, they were suggesting a retreat. Okay, but hey, Judas, he didn't want to retreat. He wanted to die manfully, man. You know, he didn't want to stay in his honor. Okay. But let us die manfully for our brethren and let us not stain our honor, man. All right, hey, don't taint your legacy, man. Don't stain your honor, man. All right. You don't want to fall out at a time like this, man. Hey, the, the closer and closer we should get, I mean, the closer and closer we get, the stronger and stronger you should be uh, getting in the spirit. Why? Because mainly, hey, if you're a man of the Lord, you've been saying this. You've been prophesying this. All right? And if you're a listener or a help, hey, you've been listening. You know about this. All right? So, hey, so far, you so far, so good, man. Hey, you you doing what's... Uh, uh, you know, the Lord haven't taken this Holy Spirit away from you. You know, he haven't cast you away from his presence. Hey, as long as you endure, hey, we straight, man. We will be tried, but hey, we have to endure for the, endure to the end, man. All right? Absolutely nothing to lose on this side, man. All right, forget your, your quote-unquote family, your relatives. And hey, you will get them back in the kingdom, man. All right? Brotherhood is your real family. Okay, and you're going to get your sons and the daughter, your daughters back in the kingdom, man. A hundredfold, man. All right, and if you don't believe, that's ultimately uh, that's ultimately because you're faithless, man. Okay, because these two thirds see what's going on. They still uh, uh, willingly ignorant. They don't care at all, man. Uh, it says uh, Matthew twenty four and thirteen. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. So we have to endure to the end, man. Okay, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. Okay, and via the internet, that's being happening. Man, started from uh, Abba Bivens. Okay, hey, and to the uh, to the men all down today, man. Okay, that follow after man. Hey, uh, Esau set up the internet, you know, to push his propaganda, but ultimately the Lord, you know, they used it to push the truth, man. All right, because in the ancient world they would travel by foot to prophesy in a different city, but now we could do it via the unicorn, which is the internet, man. And it's truthfully being all around, the, going all around the world. Man. You know, you got Elder Malcolm of videos playing in Arabic, man. And they got like 6,000 views. Hey, the word is out, man. Okay? And it says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. The end is coming, man. We see this, man. All right? I'm not going to read the next word because it's talking about 70 AD. Okay, but hey, hey, we see these things, man. Okay, we got to be able to uh, to die for our power, man. Let's go to St. Matthew, the seventh chapter. Um, it's a lock in. I'm trying to uh, point out my favorite part, it's a lock in. This is what the mother said to the uh, to her sons. Okay, this is verse two. Well, I'm gonna start at verse one. It, all, it came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and compelled by the king against the law to taste wine's flesh, and that's you know uh, that's pig that's going off. Okay, and, and, and now today they're about to uh, uh, um, chastise us to try to take the chip, man. Okay, but one of them that spake first said this. 
what what is thou ask or learn of us we are ready to die we got to be in that same spirit rather than to trans transgress the laws of our fathers man. okay this is the seven brothers and, and, and the mother man all right and, and the mother had the mightiest spirit of them all she was encouraging them man she was exhorting them okay that's raw as hell man And the king began being enraged, commanded pan and colleges to be made hot. Okay, and uh, you know, of course, he was put to death. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna skip to verse eight and verse seven. So when the first was dead after his number, they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, asked him, "Will thou eat before thou be punished or every member of thy body?" But he answered in his own language, said, "No." Wherefore he also received the next torment order as the former did. Okay. And when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou like a fury takest us out of this present life, but the king of the world shall raise us up, man. Okay? Who have died for his laws unto everlasting life, man. Did, did the, do the scriptures not say the dead uh, 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 my shalak shall rise first, man? Okay? Hey, so, so the men being martyr, being martyrs for this truth, hey, they, when Yahweh shot, they going to be coming down with Yahweh shot, man. Okay? While the rest of the elect is, is going to be beaten up. You know, they gonna uh, be changed in the twinkle of an eye, man. All right? Hey, this is raw, man. You got a nigga in the world calling the meme deep. Hey, this is deep, man. All right? It's a lock here. Verse 14. So when he was ready to die, he said thus, It is good being put to death by men. To look for hope from the Most High to be raised up by Him, again, again by Him. As for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. Okay, you saw finished, man. All right. Um, let's get to the point. Okay, verse twenty. But the mother was marvelous above all, and worthy of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, she bare it with good, with a good courage, because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Yeah, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with courageous spirits, and staring up her womanish thoughts with a manly stomach, she said unto them, I cannot tell how ye came into the womb, to my womb, for I neither gave you breath nor life. What is she talking about? Because the Lord controls it, man. Was, was it I that formed the members of every one of your body? It was the Lord. But thou is the creator of the world, who formed the generation of man, and found out the beginning of all things, and also, of his own mercy, give you breath and life again, as ye now regard now your own selves for his law's sake. Okay? And hey, we got this, man. All right, y'all write this out, man. Okay? Uh, it's a lock in. Verse 29, fear not this tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brethren. You know? Well, verse 30, while she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment, but I will obey the commandment of the law that was given to our fathers by Moses, man. All right? Hey, we got this, man. All right, just you got to stand uh, uh, stiffly for the Lord, man. Okay. I'm going to read 2 Mac B6 and, and 30, but when, this is talking about Eliezer, the priest. When he was ready to die with strikes, he groaned and said, It's manifested to the Lord that I have the holy knowledge that... Whereas I might have been delivered from death, I now endure sore pains in my body, and body by being beaten, but in soul and well, content to suffer these things because I fear him, man. And thus this man died, leaving his death for an example of a noble courage. This is an example towards us, man. You know, uh, and a memorial of virtue. And not only unto young men, but to all his nation, man. We got to follow the force that is our, uh, of our righteous forefather, Elias, our priest, man. All right? And our righteous forefathers, the seven sons and a mother. Our righteous foremother, man. Okay? Hey, either way, you're going to go through it, man. Hey, you take that damn chip, you're going to be destroyed, man. Straight up. Okay, but hey, you don't you don't want to choose to suffer for the Lord. And we all, hey, the Lord created the whole universe, man. All right? You think it ain't, when a family come, it ain't nothing for the Lord to give you full, man. You just have to have faith. 
it ain't nothing for the Lord to uh, uh, to allow you to escape a situation, man. All right, is anything impossible for the Lord? No, it's nothing, man. All right, big faith, man. You have to have big faith. Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. All right, you have to believe this for yourself, man. But I want to give all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Kapadash. All right, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Yahweh Shai, I Bajim Ka Mahar. All right, which means Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, please uh, deliver or save your servant speedily. Shalom in the Bible, bro.